Hey guys, Randy with Low Buck LS here again, and this week we're going to get into um, calculating how big of a fuel pump and injectors you need for your LS swap project. So if you're interested in that, stick around, we'll get right into it. Okay guys, Randy with Low Buck LS here again, the channel that helps you get affordable horsepower out of your LS or LS based engine. And this week we're gonna talk about uh, how to figure out how big of a fuel pump and fuel injectors you need for your LS swap project. So this is a question that comes up pretty regularly in the uh, Facebook group. And by the way, if you're not a member of the Facebook group, go check it out. We're getting close to 29,000 members in there. Um, and they're all people who uh, want to get affordable performance out of their LS engine, just like you. So yeah, a question that comes up pretty regularly is how big of a fuel pump and how big of injectors am I gonna need? Like just today, somebody asked, um, if I'm running decap truck injectors and want to run low boost on E85, um, will those injectors be big enough to do it? So today I'm going to show you a way to calculate uh, exactly how big of a fuel pump and injectors you're going to need. So there's basically three things that factor into how much fuel your engine's going to use. First is how much horsepower you're going to make. Second is the type of fuel you're using, whether it's gas or E85. I'm not gonna get into running methanol or anything like that in this video since that's probably not low buck if you're running methanol. Um, and the other factor is your uh, method of forced induction, like whether you're naturally aspirated or supercharged or turbocharged. So. First, we'll go through how to do the calculation manually. I'm gonna do another poor man's PowerPoint here with some Sharpie on some sheets of paper. And then I'll show you a spreadsheet I put together to uh, make the calculation a little simpler. You just gotta plug in those three items, your horsepower, your type of fuel, and whether you're NA turbocharged or supercharged, and it'll spit out how big of, of a fuel pump you need and how big of injectors you need. So let's go look at the, the calculation and do one manually for now. And then we'll uh, fire up the computer and I'll show you the spreadsheet. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the calculation manually here first. So I'm just using my uh, LQ4 as an example here. So it's gonna be putting out about 350 horse um, it's just going to be basically a stock engine, naturally aspirated with a cam and valve springs, so estimating 350 horse. So we multiply that number by the brake specific fuel consumption. And that's basically a number that through testing they've determined, uh, it's basically how many pounds of fuel your engine is going to burn per horsepower per hour. And here's the, the factors. So if you're on gas as a fuel, naturally aspirated, your BSFC is gonna be 0.5. Supercharged, you're gonna be 0.6. Turbocharged is 0 0.66. And if you're on E85 NA, it's gonna be 0 0.7. Supercharged, 0 0.84. Turbocharged, 0 0.91. And these come from a course that uh, was made by Ed Moten with e ERM Performance. He's passed on now, but that's where these numbers come from. And I trust them. I've used them in calculations before and they uh, usually work out pretty good. So we're gonna take that 350 horsepower times the BSFC of 0 0.5 for NA and gas. And that's gonna give us a total fuel of 175 pounds per hour. Now we're gonna divide that, because it's a V8, we're gonna divide that number by eight cylinders. And that's gonna give us a injector size at 100% duty cycle of 21.875 pounds per hour. But we wanna have a little bit of margin in there for error. So we're going to divide that number by 0.8, which is uh, going to give us like a 20% margin for, for error. So if we divide 21.875 divided by 0.8, we get 
we come up with a number of 27.34 pounds per hour. So that's going to put us over the limit. The stock LQ4 injectors flow like around 25 pounds per hour. So our injectors are going to be a little bit small at 80% duty cycle. So they're probably going to be running at 90% duty cycle or something like that, which is right on the edge of acceptable. So now to figure out our fuel pump size, we take that number, multiply it by the number of cylinders, which is eight. So we get a total pounds per hour of fuel of 21 or 218.75 pounds per hour. And then to convert that into gallons, we divide it by six because there's six pounds in every gallon of fuel. And that comes up with 36.46 gallons per hour. And then to convert that into liters, we multiply by 3.785, which is the number of liters in a gallon, and come up with 138 liters per hour fuel pump size. So, and the stock LQ4 fuel, fuel pump flows about 190 liters per hour. So we'll be fine on fuel pump size, but really pushing the limits of uh, those uh, 25 pound injectors. So now uh, let's fire up the computer and I'll show you the spreadsheet that I made to do this. And we'll run through a couple other examples, maybe a turbocharged and a uh, E85 example. All right, so like I said, I've put together a spreadsheet here and I'll put a link to it. Uh, if you go to lowbuckls.com forward slash fuel system, you can find it there. I'll put a link in the description and then I'll also put it in the files section of our uh, Lowbuck LS Facebook group. So, but here's the spreadsheet. And again, it comes from Ed with ERM performance from his course, but I've kind of cleaned it up a bit and made it more user-friendly. His was about six different lines and didn't have these drop-down menus to select the type of fuel and your forced induction setup. So let's run through an example. Um, let's go with that question that the guy asked today. Um, how much uh, boost can I run on E85 through decap truck injectors? So we'll uh, select E85 for fuel and turbocharged for forced induction. So uh, with 350 horse still entered here, you can see that um, required injector size at 80% uh, duty cycle is 49.77, so just under 50. So we've got a bit of uh, room to maneuver here. So let's bump up the horsepower. Let's try 450. That brings us to 64. Uh, pounds per hour and most decapped injectors are good for or the ones I tested anyways were like 75 76 pounds so we can go a little higher yet let's try 500 crank horsepower there we're getting close to the limit let's try 550 and there we're over so let's try 5.30 and there we're basically right at the limit of a decapped injector so on E85 turbo uh, you should be able to get about 530 crank horsepower so um, my answer would be yes you can run low boost through decapped truck injectors on a turbo E85 setup now I'll show you the other thing um, under the uh, fuel pump size here. So we know, actually let's bump this up to 600, like just an average, don't BS me type build with a 78, 75 turbo, putting out like 600 crank horsepower on E85. So the, uh, the fuel pump size we need in gallons per hour is 113.75. Now you can go over and look at 
on the uh, TI Automotive, the Walboro page, it shows you the flow charts for various size pumps. So if you look at the 267 pump, that's a Walboro 450. So we were looking for 114-ish. So right away, if we scroll over to um, 58 pounds would be an NA, but we're running boosted. So we're going to have another probably 15 pounds on there. So right away, you can see the Walboro 450 isn't going to be big enough. I guess if, yeah, even at 13 and a half volts, we're still well below 100. So the Walboro 450 isn't going to cut it. So the next option is this 525 Hellcat pump. And if we go again, the stock NA would be 58, but we want to go at least, you're probably going to be running 15 pounds of boost or whatever to get that 600 horsepower. So if we go 75 pounds fuel pressure, we're going to be right at 100. So still not. And even if you go at 13.5 volts, still um, not going to have any margin for error there. So I would say on E85, you're going to go have to go to dual pumps. And I did notice on the TI Automotive page now, they do have some dual pump systems here. So let's have a look at this uh, TCA948 chart. Now we're looking like we've got some margin for, ever, for error here. So if we go to that same 75 PSI and go up to the fuel flow at 12 volts, here we're about halfway between 125 and 150. So that's going to give us lots of margin for error. So that would be the, the pump setup I would go with. Let's just go look at that for a second. I'm actually not familiar with that. Let's go search universal fuel pumps. Fuel pump kits. And there you go. They've got these ready-made in-tank dual fuel pumps. I think that's new. I've, I've never actually noticed that before. And down here, they've got a few other options here. So yeah, this one... Good for 985 to 1600 horsepower uh, and over 205 gallons per hour. But again, that's at 40 PSI and we're gonna be running almost double that. So there you go. That is how you use this uh, spreadsheet I made to calculate uh, how much, uh, how big of a fuel pump and fuel injectors you need. Just for the heck of it, let's compare this 7875 don't bs me type build on gas you're only going to need a 62 pound injector and uh 82 and a half gallon per hour pump so going back to the 450 uh 450 still isn't going to be big enough It'll be just barely big enough at 13 and a half volts, but going to the 525 pump, you're at 100 gallons per hour. So, um, which is good because that's the pump that I've got in my truck, and that's kind of the horsepower numbers I'm shooting for. But, anyways, I'm uh, gonna wrap this one up. That is how you figure out how big of a fuel pump and injectors you need for your LS swap project. Well. Talk to you guys on the next one. Bye for now.